Ukraine has a long history of weak credit quality uh, in the sovereign debt markets, but recently we've seen uh, matters take a, a major turn for the worse, and that's due to one thing, and that's political risk. First of all, there is the, uh, the revolution and the removal of the uh, President Yanukovych, who was at the heart of a lot of the problems. But since then, we've seen an escalation of tensions between Russia and the West in the enclave of Crimea. Ukraine sp had spread hit a wide of 1,325 basis points in February, and since then have been very volatile. They recovered for uh, a while, but they've since widened back out now to around about 1,225 basis points. Uh, we can expect further volatility, uh, and we're also seeing that the credit curve invert sharply. Uh, the one year is now trading over a thousand basis points uh, than the five year, and this is a classic sign of credit distress. Ukraine's problems have affected the credit markets, but there certainly hasn't been any contagion. Uh, the, the political problems are very serious, and it's received mass coverage in the media, but the financial markets are being a lot more discerning and, and to an extent, taking, taking it in its, tr its stride. Uh, there's only one emerging market that is likely to cause contagion, and that's China. China's uh, growth has started to falter, as we've seen with market PMIs, and has very, very serious problems in its shadow banking system, which is the real weak point of its economy.